what's up YouTube so we've got some things we're gonna do we are going to show you how to load the new Prusa slicer profiles into Prusa slicer so the first thing we have to do is we are going to head to the github the link will be in the description uh, so head there to find this but it's just my github uh, Prusa slicer profiles will go there and we'll go to stock Prusa profiles and we'll download oh let's do just a pretty PLA so we'll click on that and you're gonna hit download and then of course we're going to uh, go to the downloads file and it's already opened it up for us which is awesome so we're gonna head over to Prusa slicer and it downloads a zip so make sure you extract the zip file if you're on a machine that doesn't automatically do that magic so we're going to go to file and import and import config. And we're going to go to downloads and boom, click on the pretty PLA INI file open. And there it is loaded over here on the right hand side. So we're going to go to print settings and we have to save each one individually. So let's go ahead and click the save button and we're going to just name it pretty pla pretty PLA 2020 and hit OK and we're gonna do same thing in filament settings boom save and OK and printer settings boom this one we're gonna name pretty mark 3s so one of the things that uh, has changed uh, pretty mark 3s and OK one of the things that's changed is in filament settings, there's now a filament override. So when we download something, so let's go ahead and hop over and let's go ahead and go to our stock Prusa profiles. Let's go ahead and get the PTG one and download. And it's already going to extract and it did. So let's go ahead and file and import and import config. And let's get the PTG one in open. And as you can see, now that it's imported the PTG one, we've got an override for the retraction length and the lift Z, which overrides the printer settings, which is awesome. So we hop over to printer settings. We can see that the extruder settings here have a 0 0.8 retraction, a lift of 0 0.2. That's normal for um, PLA. For PETG, a little bit more retraction, and we don't use the lift Z because we get stringing. So let's go ahead and save these. And we'll just go ahead and delete all that. Okay. And here we'll do the same thing. Pretty PTG 2020. Boom. Okay. And that's it. We don't have to do anything here. We don't have to resave this. We can actually just, you know, go to that and not save it. So perfect. We now have uh, this set up. And all future profiles will use the filament override. So you only need to keep one set up here so we are good to go uh, have fun and uh, we'll come back with some more videos soon